Well, the bravery of a tone set, but it's tempted to strike. They might not even get the chance with the speed at which Forsaken is approaching this. Benkai won. Oh, oh, both oh, for Duelists oh, are gone. Benkai is different. Three, both Jing and Benkai are fully loaded with damage. Forsaken finally catches what they need to with the Sheriff, and Benkai tries their best to fade away. Shun is going to chase them down with the classic. Only a body shot was required. But now, in a two versus two, this wall is going to cause real problems, Kramer. An attempt to go up high and try to stop the defuse. Jing with the right click for selfie. No! Can they get more? <laughs> you better they can! The combat stage, I. Will they be checked? Not right now, Devi. Gets a headshot onto Vera of a second, though. Sky moves around so close here. What are these positions, Kramer? This is so weird. Look at how far everyone has moved on up. Tempest has fallen down, Mind Freak unable to destroy DXN, but not much health remains, and that means Benkai can easily tear through them with the Spectre. Think small. Jing, look how aggressive they are here. This won't be expected, but Vera quick to move in and then back away after getting that headshot. Still now no dash on the entry, but it doesn't matter as much on Icebox A. Forsaken, spotted out, they were hard scoping in, so they did not have the range of vision to spot Tempts, and finally... No namers might be able to grab themselves around. Mind Freak and Divide tend to disagree right here. Divide takes the swing with that uh, <laughs> with that operator. It was a touch weird. Attempts going to be spotted out and slain. No chance to use the Empress. Mind Freak gets rid of one of the primary entries and for Lurker. But still, Mind Freak going down. That means that B is now going to be a little bit more vulnerable. Forsaken loses out. DXN actually has the resurrection. Forsaken returns to the land of the living. But those who resurrected confidence on this man. Decayed for a moment. Sky brings out the Viper's Pit from below. And Temps from the same angle will take out Devi. Gets out with information for free. And no names pick up this. Aggressive in mids and Paper X. Even when they're uh, giving respect to an end, it's on the back of huge aggression. Ooh, an attempt to teleport out. Oh, Forsaken, get in with the tackle, boys. I'm going in for the melee kill. Forsaken, not rewarded for their audacity as Mind Freak is forced to slowly creep over. Flame might actually get shot in the back of the head here. Mind Freak's going to be the first one to catch contact. And Sky, their lurks have worked out masterfully. Mind Freak defeated, Forsaken, broken down. A weird float device, simply can't hit the shot. Looking along sight line up against Forsaken, who readily moves. Oh, they've messed up the first, but the second peak is easy onto DXN. The spike has been spotted, and now the jig is up. Everyone else can move on in, try and get themselves some flanking angles. Forsaken is going to be taken down by Vera. In the Jet versus Jet, we demanded... But Vera do more down the kitchen area. Are going to be able to easily access the spike, including Vera. Plays from far away. Benko grabs themselves a headshot onto Sky. It's going to be difficult here to try and get a defuse. Out goes the first shock dart. Mind Freak's already got themselves a half oh there. They continue to hold this down. Oh! The defuse is held. What in the world, Kremer? Vera sure the last one to survive. No rep to lose. Only to gain here as the aggression on B and through general positioning, they see that this entire portion of the map is the only point players are fighting. They know B is clear right now, but it means that for an oh. end, they're running straight <laughs> to a stack. Ah, yes, this operator back in action. Jing's purchase from so many rounds ago continues to strike. Pader, a pixel angle. DXN is built different, baby. 30 seconds left. But now, Mind Freak. They have to be bypassed, and they are a cruel doorman. Benkai drops for spike, but Mind Freak taken down by DXN. What a play from the Sage. Not much time to plant the spike. And how do they get onto this is the question. It's going to be weird platforming to get there, but Jing might be able to grab themselves a little bit of an advantage. They can't find the pixel angle onto Jing. What they can do is approach quite loudly. Get them slow warp. Do my dirty work for me. They've now isolated themselves for the moment. A Shun can lie in wait. Eight bullets in the chamber. A spray. Not in oh! their favor. But neither is the duel itself. Gene wants to get... Will make it even easier for Forsaken if they can survive the first contact. 
The first loss, the first frag. Forsaken begins to continue claiming blood, but Benkai needs to back this up as fast as possible. Forsaken with a brand new angle, a brand new way, dashing on forwards. They almost get obfuscated by the blaze storm, but Benkai's arrived as well. The bravery of Forsaken once again confounds their foes, but the jet battle goes the way of Vera. Out come the blades up against Benkai now. Vera is absolutely pummeling their opposition. In a one versus one, the operator will miss, but but there is a snake bite. A pair of such, in fact, will continue to make things difficult. Benkai, while they only had a... A little bit aggressively. Might be able to catch Shun here, but Temp is not Oh, Oh, lovely positioning from Shun. The bait is strong. I'm surprised there that Shun actually got tagged from Benkai's drone, but Benkai didn't, uh, like, tell them that, hey, they're behind some physical cover, man. This is a bait. Oh, and the bait is taken even more so. A swap straight back to A, just CT for the time being to get the most passive position possible. Temps reveals his position and his intention. The fire's only good for one. Spike play one but seven to five, that would be pretty good for NN. Reminding ourselves that this playing on ramp, oh, it's so audacious and it's not rewarded. A Ooh. miss in Temps punishes that with a plumb like Nan. Self in a, uh, in a, a rock in a hard place. Oh, Vera doesn't get the cloud burst out in time. That's essentially wasted utility now. But they haven't fired off their weapon yet, so... Oh. <laughs> now it's revealed, at least if it was not before, Vera obfuscated device rezzed on up its fate. And here's the switch, it's Mind Freak who's going to be trying to play there. The Headhunter is so bloody strong! A swap over to the Vandal. And now from range, Benkai plays with a Hunter's Fury. Temps is wrapping round the back. That drop surely made noise. Did Divai hear it though? They dropped in time with the Hunter's Fury. And now Benkai tries to at least one there on the corpse of Divai. Not picked up for now. <gasps> Look how close this is. <laughs> say goodbye to your Viper's Pit and say goodbye to Temps. Benkai, what a god! This is a ninja duel still. Shun plays on the other side, Forsaken with the Ego buy of the Sheriff. It's the classic B plant off the back of the Sage Wall, but this has been anticipated. No one from No Namers has dropped off yet. Forsaken doesn't take any damage despite the fire of two players, but doesn't deal any either. It's all about Shun and Vera at the moment. It's the frenzy at range out dueling the Sheriff. They're simply built different. These duelists, they are made of gold. If they don't take any damage, that'll be all they need to get the operator out in round three. My freak is clean opening, and for Sky, realizing what could be happening, they get dinked as they try to get out of there. Unfortunate there. And now Forsaken moves on forward, avoids shooting the Leer because they want to be stealthy on their approach, going up against both Shun and DXN, but Temps checks the back. Four players here with the Spectres have done all they need to in a touch more already. Mind Freak on their second kill of the round. Even more. Jing, the platformer, the Mario Party has been bought. And Jing is all about those. Yahoo! Oh my. Well, in the same fashion. It's Forsaken. Claims a huge amount of space here. Will they be spotted out though by Shun? That's one. Oh, Shun wins the duel. That is absolutely critical. The Spike Carrier has been killed. And now Vera can lie in wait. Mind Freak can't win the duel against Shun. It's messy as Devai comes in to be the second peeker. Could it be flawless? For the side of NN. Enkai says no. But they walk into Temps now. In a corner on the Rainer. It's a combo that never really goes together in my games. What? What, 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 what? That ain't right. That ain't real. This is a falsehood. It's a fabrication. We made it up, Kremer. Vera. This is reflect this time. Actually, it might connect with Benkai. Or rather, might connect with Mind Freak through the wall. Body shots for everybody. A lack of health. The wall bang again. Vera doesn't need to see you to kill you. Simply needs to smell you. Divai playing from the side. They don't have the timing to kill Shun, who's now in a one versus two. Paper X have somehow began to turn this around. Mind Freak plays from their layup positions with one snake bite to their name. But as they peek on out, Shun is waiting. Now Divai knows where Shun is playing from. Wallbangs are strong, but Shun is stronger. 
Unbelievable. Tour de Force, no one tag, but uh, there is the Hunter's Fury trying to take down DXN as you run Forsaken guns you down and Sky was so close yet Mind Freak is even closer barrel stuffing with the Vandal as Jing will grant themselves for plant and so they drop on down the high ground is given away Jing plays from behind. Amazing reactions there. Multiple players can be pinged. Temps opens it on up. A bounce off the back of this. But it's Vera with the blade storm. The accuracy is strong. But Jing, as usual, is the master of ace. Like we've seen this all before. And oh, we will perfect. see it again. I've got my eye. Quite able to uh, shoot that start in time. <laughs> location known for it, looking to harass them for it and there you go there's that wombo combo and i tell you what harry i regret i regret criticizing the hunter's furies yeah why don't you why don't you shut up you silly man <laughs> oh what do i know what do i know <laughs> yeah sh sh generally said quiet kramer yeah i, re I realized that was to make sure to apologize <laughs> oh, now he's gonna be quiet and forever by mind freak paper rex on the precipice of their match point. Admittedly, they were supposed to win this. It is against an eco. And Jing makes sure it's clear. But Forsaken, even more so. Looking for the plant here. It's a weird play. And Vera is peeled against but Shun. The gun player on the sober. This is my kitchen. And I rule with an iron fist. The Gordon Ramsay of Singapore. As Mind Freak. Doesn't get tagged here and forces out Shun with a well placed snake bite still. That's sloppy up against the rifles. It's n headshots or nothing, Kramer. Pippa's pit. And there it is. They will be a plant within. Enkai falls on down. Forsaken's playing from up high. Mind Freak actually dies in the midst of all of this to a snake bite. Camouflaged amongst the green. Forsaken's pick themselves up a rifle. But opts instead to go for the. Oh man, what a movement from Sky! They simply. of going to overtime. That's off to 10. Paper Rex, they call a timeout. I think they've realized that, oh, this could actually go to overtime. Vera and Temps both really showing up now, accompanied by Shun, who is really looking to pack some punches. Paper Rex. DXN. Oh, sorry. Fancy footwork. Not a single blast of the Hunter's Fury will connect. As Vera lies in wait, a leg short to Forsaken. <laughs> they craft themselves two kills before Temps puts them in the grave. And Mind Freak. Left. Gotta be planting over on B. Still Jing. Now they get the resurrection, but their fallen comrade is over on A. And no neighbors. They have to move quickly. If they can't get this in time, the first round is going the way of Paper X. Jing moves on forward. Not nervous at all about this. Get him slow up. And so it does. Jing turns 180 degrees and takes their tongue and move over onto a vaguely bloodless Vera though wraps around the back mind freak caught by surprise both the doors begin their backstab forsaken so low a single bullet from the frenzy is all that's needed as nn it's been pretty good at these pistol rounds but device oh! even better it was a slow round on icebox but it does not matter as the sentinel pair of divine and benkai lie in wait so you use those blast packs to move as quickly as you can and get up into the gob of your opponents as the, the judge the jury and the executioner attempts here Gets a couple players to line up in front of them. Unfortunately, their escape was not to the best of their ability. Benkai grabs that and Mind Freak, who saved him a no plant at the moment, and the spike is currently isolated. Devai takes that so quickly, beating out Sky even with the disadvantage in the weaponry. Vera playing conservatively on the other side. Vera swapped over to the Spectre a little bit better at this range, but not better at taking out Mind Freak. DXN baited in to take that fight. And Avai is the different road walked, but by the same ferocity, Forsaken, taken down by Temps here. You want that rifle, says Devai? You ain't having that rifle, but a raid against multiple sheriffs is unable to pick themselves a target. And that you means now run. two rifles are available Enemy in that area. Sky grabs around the back. The lockdown, going to be difficult to ascertain here. And there have been some upgrades, Sky and Shun. Both grab themselves combat rifles, Jing and Benkai for two versus three. A lovely little stun here, Jing's gonna be caught in the corner, unable to spray as much as they'd like. And now it's down to Benkai, forced out of position by the aftershock and Sky picks up their third kill on their peak. And welcome to the world of tomorrow. For saying their time, 
What this does allow is for multiple objects. Anticipating someone's going to be up here. That's a good peek from Vera. Now they can play from the top. Mind Freaks already grabbed themselves one, but the has fallen down at a critical moment. Shun still alive, but doesn't want to use their ultimate in a one versus X. Can't even beat Benkai here. They're in a crossfire. Oh, <laughs> I'll deal with Jing later. Cosmic Divide DXN plays within the gap. <gasps> they lose their weapon at the precisely wrong They can hit the zero point. Unbelievable game sense. But still dies. Attempts is amazing. On the site, you don't expect the lurking raise. Another fanciful grenade sent out. As Devai and Mind Freak find themselves in a two versus three, timing simply not. Oh! <laughs> Vera had no idea, but Mind Freak is full of them. It's freaky time. Two are killed, and now moving on forward, Sky hits themselves a dink, but not much more than that. Jing incredibly low, only six HP, but that's fine. Someone else can handle the entries now. It's Benkai who's running the spike up towards B. will get themselves apart. A point closer towards that ultimate. He expected. Can he stop it? Oh, what a... What a blind right there. Mind freak. Such a trouble. They are going to be playing from the frog. No one is as powerful as the, as the hidden frog from. No one expects froggy Benkai. Actually, everyone expects Froggy bring Benkai. That's a beautiful fragment right there. Sky oh, takes man. the swing That's with the Vandal. Oh! A Sky could be on. Uh, literally about to outflank him. Oh. That's going to be nice for Sky. Jing's able to drop a weapon in time. Sky simply cannot find the time. Remember, a tap on this oh, bomb timing. will allow for a paint shell to be bounced onto it. And that would do a lot of damage to Sky, who does not have the health to sustain themselves. What they do have is four stars to play with, Kremer. And an ultimate. If they want to try and steal this round away from Paper X instead, it's all about playing the time, outflanking Jin, and indeed they will be able to here. A beautiful play around. Sky finds the ace, and they should have Barn right on top of that nano swarm. That might make it a little bit. And now Devai doesn't have as much cover as they did previously. Fresh worries. Devai needs to worry about so much. There's the entry from one side, and now it's Vera moving in. DXN, the co duelist makes their entry known. Sky can't beat out Mind Freak and Shun's unable to hit this as well. From afar, Benkai exerts their pressure with the Nano Swarm, surely. But it's Mind Freak and Astra Ace deserve. Lies in wait within their smoke. It's easy. Onto Mind Freak as they try to escape. The show almost stopped. Just about saved by the corner here as Jing makes their entry. They will meet the Astra. They will flick away. They will cancel the Cosmic Queen as Temps now needs to take out their counterpart. Raze versus Raze. Bombardier versus Bombardier. No players will be detained. The spike plant will be gained. And Devi has left their pit behind. Temps has won the duel. Three versus two now for no namers. Certainly winnable. As here comes the showstopper directly onto their counterpart. Let me show you how the big boy raise does it. Forsaken taken down. This is Tempsey's round, but Benkai can play this from afar. Play it with the Nano Swarm. The first one has been broken down. In fact, oh. and DXN is so fast with the aim. Has already used their boom boss. So they're calling in the reinforcements, but look at how close Devi is right here. A frenzy, probably going to be good for one. Indeed it is, we do get a dink elsewhere, but they are going to be overwhelmed by the sheer mass of numbers heading this way. Benkai stands prepared in heaven, but doesn't really have that much in the way of backup. The flash drive couldn't get much, but Forsaken will grab themselves one. The headhunter begins to run low on ammo. Only two shots remain for DXN as Vera avoids the damage of the gravity well. Out goes for Grenade, covering close angles here for Jing. They actually take damage from her own nade, moving a little bit ahead of the curve. Can they check the corner in time? I'm starting to lose my feed, Kramer. Take over. I'm also losing my feed as well. Unfortunate. Still have everything to play for for first place. Oh my goodness, for Smith. Continues to slow this. Plays for close angle, wants to move alongside this alarm bot. Oh, tries to body block the dash and gets it right. Mind Freak has read it like a book. Still, the damage isn't there. Rashun simply has a better weapon. Multiple players blinded. Forsaken gives each a love tap to show their support. 
And now, just in time, the spike is going to get planted by Sky. The Vi wraps around the back, having picked up a Spectre for better mid-range them, but he's hurt a second. The Vi stands within that which sucks them in. And Vera can easily win the duel off the back of that. Through the one way goes the boom bot. Oh, it blocks a couple shots. And now Jing, body blocked within the smoke. Temp stopped them as they moved. Maybe the showstopper moved on out and did a touch of damage, but it's forsaken on the site with the sheriff. The small arms fire from the big boy. The spike is on the floor. Needs to be picked on up in a two versus two. It's a stressful situation for both teams, but DXN. With a little bit of information from the top is going to be revealed as they drop down into the lower areas. They have the capacity here to take a peek and teleport themselves away afterwards. Potential for a Nova Pulse to stun them. And the avoidance is good, but it's Benkai fast on this. Mind Freak wins out their own duel as well. Oh no, ropes. That boom bot going to be dropped. So there's paper racks. They find themselves almost like sexes here. They go for a heavy beast oh. stack. No one expects for Sky High Astra. She may be the queen of space, but today she lives in the skies. The, the rotation here. Caught out, taken some damage. Multiple misses on the back of that blade storm, and now Vera has to deal with just the classic in their hand, but still it's good enough. An upgrade to a rifle as DXN uses their own ultimate to claim life after life. Sky unable to grab the plants and hey, but still unsuspected. And now they can wrap around the back, try and catch up the plants. And the first one's easy, the second, no. Temps faster simply as they bring out their own showstopper. Unfortunately, they wrap themselves in one to the gravity eight. well. And the defending lockdown is going to cause some real problems here as they're attempting to break it down. One player, two player, that's all that Benkai needed. Now with a one versus two. Temps is damaged, DX ends at full HP. And Benkai battered and bruised. NN, they had to do so much because already suffered a little bit of the full damage. Go for seven now. That comes with divide available, but so is that full buy from Paper Rex. So it comes with divide of their own to throw out this. More importantly, that's Viper's Pit on the buy, as well as Jing, just one away from a showstopper. Paper Rex is going to hit their power spike with utility now, just as they. Trouble here in mid with the judge. This is where the judge gets so much survey. But the question now is, can he be shut down? Can NN stop him? Remember, this is for tournament life, Harry. If you, you lose this, you have to go play against the winner of Bleed versus Moon Knight. Uh, Hearts Eye, that's it. And then itself, it's certainly not going to be an easy journey. Jing. Tries to meet them in the doorway, only grabs one, but Forsaken up and down the rope, they go. Oh, oh it's a magical perfect. rope trick, check out what I learned. Forsaken takes down three, and now Vera, the young prodigy on the jet, has to keep NN alive in the upper deck. He beats down Forsaken first, the next up on the docket is going to be Mind Freak. Forsaken can give away so much of this information as they can see Vera moving forwards. As you move in to try and take down Forsaken Vera, they're running out of options.